What's an aimbot? For all y'all that don't know, I met the chicken man years and years and years and years ago. Long time. We've known each other for forever. We've always played video games together. And just recently, we talked about him moving to Canada, staying in my basement at my house, and basically grind out the YouTube Twitch stuff, see where we can take it, do it together. And it was kind of weird at first, because it's like, I've never met this guy in my life, and he's moving into my house. But like, knowing somebody for that long, it, it felt normal, you know what I mean? It was weird, it was cool, but that almost didn't happen. He flew to Canada, and I met him for probably one minute. It was one or two minutes, and he was being escorted by a cop. Basically, he was, he was arrested. He was being detained, and they were talking about deporting him. So I was like, I literally meet this dude for one minute, and he's going back already because Canada doesn't want to let him in or something? We're like, what is happening? And that's what the story is all about. This is like, this is a crazy story. I can't believe any of this happened. Like, it was, it was a weird situation. This whole thing was so weird. So I get to the airport just before 11 o'clock in the evening, 11 p.m. And his flight was supposed to show up at 11.23. So I got a little early, just in case he gets there a little early. Didn't want to miss him. And I'm sitting out front of customs, waiting for him to come out. And it was just person after person, person after person. And next thing you know, there was nobody coming out and then a couple officers walk out and i'm thinking like what is happening right like how has he not come out yet and i'm thinking in my head i'm like did he even come like am i getting debated here like maybe he didn't even show up maybe he didn't even take the flight i don't know what's going on uh, nobody's talking to me i have no idea then there was this third officer that came out and he says hey are you still waiting for someone I'm like, yeah, I am. He's like, ah, oh, young guy? Uh, yeah, yeah. And I ask, is, is something going on? Like, he's like, no, no, they just have to check his bags, blah, blah, blah. It's, he's a young guy, so they're just making sure they're going over his stuff. I'm like, all right, I think nothing of it, whatever. And next thing you know, an hour, hour and a half goes by, still nothing. Two hours go by, and I'm like, okay, this is ridiculous. Like, I'm messaging him on, on Facebook, I'm texting him, no replies. I'm like, what is happening? Like, at this point, I, like I said, like I don't even know if he's here. Like, I don't even know if he's here. I haven't gotten a text at all. So I'm like, I'm so confused. And then this, this dude comes out. And when I say that this dude just looked like a dick, like he looked like a dick. Like he was like seven foot, eight foot, 12. Like this dude was a monster. This, I, I don't know if he was like a head honcho, cop, security, I don't know what he was, but you could tell he meant business. And he comes and he, he grabs me and he's like, he's like, are you waiting on someone? And I say, yeah, I'm waiting for, and I say, I say chicken man's name. And he's like, I got to ask you a few questions. What's he doing here? And I'm like, well, he's just, he's just visiting. And uh, asking me a bunch more questions, asking me where I live asking me what I do for work, what my parents do, where my parents live. And it was just like the most awkward conversation because I'm like, I'm like, I don't work anymore. I was like, I, I stop, I quit my job to do this YouTube thing. And like trying to explain this to a guy that's like, you know, he's like 40, 50, he's an older guy. You could tell like he's stern and strict, like with everything. You could just tell from his persona that the way he's talking. And I'm trying to explain to him. I'm like, I basically, I play video games, man. And he just wasn't having any of it. And this dude is like, well, who's going to support him when he comes here? What's he going to do? Is he working? Blah, 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 blah. He's like, you don't work? I'm like, well, I don't know how to explain it to you, man. But like, yeah, like he's staying in my place. It'll all be all right. Like, it's all good. And no, not having any of it. And then I, I get irritated. I'm getting frustrated. So I ask him just straight up. I'm like, like, what the F is the problem? Like, what is happening? And he looks at me and he's this dead ass, like the sternest face ever. And he's like, I'm the one asking the questions here, not you. So you listen and answer. I'm like, Jesus Christ, man, relax. And that's basically where I left off. I just outright told him, I was like, man, I don't know what to tell you. Like he's asking me a bunch of stuff about chicken, like all these personal questions. And I'm like, honest to God, I don't know. I know him from video games. You ask me what his first character was in Destiny and I'll tell you that. Ask me where he went to high school. I don't have a clue. I don't know where the, I don't know where he went to high school. I don't know any of this stuff. And then he starts insinuating that we're gay. I'm like, bro, first of all, what do you have against gays? 
What's wrong with being what's wrong with being a little gay? All right. Personally, it's not my cup of tea. But this dude's insinuating that I f flew the chicken man here just for some bum stuff. Like that ain't no 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 no. That ain't that ain't the goals here. And it was just the weirdest thing ever, man. And of course, I'm wearing a Tay Rock watch too, which is it kind of worked out. I was like I was like, look, I'm sponsored by these guys. Like yeah. I, don't, I was like, I don't know how to explain this to him without showing him my stuff, and it was uh, it was such a bad situation. So he tells me to sit down, wait. He's like, it'll be a little while yet. They're still gonna talk. I'm like, all right, I understand. So I sit back down, and it was like another hour later. At this point, I've been at the airport for like three hours, like when I should have been there for 15 minutes, 20 minutes. It's like three hours at this point, and. There he is, the chicken man. The doors open. It was like it was like the light shining through the clouds. You know what I mean? You look up and it's like, ooh, the angels just through the heavens and shit. And I'm like, there he is. That's my man's right there. Uh, I just look at him and his face is just like, damn, like no emotion, just like mega upset. And I'm like, what is happening? He's arrested. He's being escorted by police. And I'm like, what is happening? And he just looks at me and he's like, I'm being detained. I'm like, why? Like, what is happening, man? I've been here for so long already. I was like, can we just like get the show on the road? Let's figure this out and get a move on and whatever. I don't get to talk to him. They go do their own thing. And I'm like, whatever. I don't know. I don't know what else I can do at this point. So again, I play the waiting game. I'm sitting there waiting and chickens being interrogated like crazy. They basically... Like after after the fact, he was telling me all this. Basically, they think he's he was trying to be an illegal immigrant who was basically trying to move here illegally. Like he's not moving here permanently. This is just a temporary thing for like he's just visiting. And they were thinking that he was moving here like for good because he brought like so much electronic. Well, he didn't even bring that much electronics. He brought a PS4 and a computer. Like that's what he brought, and then clothes and shit, right? And they were basically thinking that he was moving here for forever. Uh, so they're interrogating him and he was in the military so he's got like military memorabilia and like he just got stuff in his suitcase that is just it's kind of questionable but it makes perfect sense if you know his background it was just it was just such a bad situation anyways after it was like three and a half four hours almost it was a long time he gets out and he looks at me and he's like he's like I, uh, they're letting me go for the night but I gotta come back tomorrow morning. At this point, it was like, we gotta be awake in three, four hours and back at the airport again because Chicken has to show them a bunch of paperwork. They need, he needs to show him, he needs to buy a return flight. Like he never bought a return flight. So he was basically gonna stay here for a couple months and then just go back, like visit family and then come back again. Basically go back and forth, right? Nope, they made him buy a return ticket. So he's only allowed to stay here for a month. And after he comes back, so he's gonna fly back home for a month, he's gonna do his thing, he's gonna try to figure out a way of coming back and staying longer. But yeah, it's, that kinda sucks. So it kinda put a damper on things, especially cause he's got like computer parts and stuff coming here. Like the, he never bought, brought a full computer with him. He brought parts for a computer. He's basically building a computer at my house. So the rest of the parts are basically coming in the mail, but he's not allowed to bring any of that back. He like, I, it's just crazy how strict they were with everything like they basically made a list of everything that he brought He's got to bring everything back nothing more nothing less uh, He's not allowed to sell anything like <laughs> it, it was so crazy how strict it was. I never expected it to, to be this strict at all But we got to sort it out the chicken is here for 30 days and We're gonna finally take care of business this is this was a couple days ago already for me uploading this video. We've been busy trying to get everything sorted out, get his get his room situated, get internet in his room. Like it took a lot of, a lot of setting up to do. And he still doesn't have a computer, which kind of sucks. He's got a shitty laptop. So if you're a fan of the Chicken Man, he'll be streaming. Uh, he does have a YouTube channel that he's going to be uploading consistently. Um, it's basically the same as me, except he's prioritizing his stream stuff. Uh, yeah. That's that's the story. Chicken finally got to Canada, was interrogated for onwards of four hours. I had to convince a, a 40, 50 year old guy that was 15 feet tall and scary as hell that I play video games for a living and that I wasn't flying a guy here to do bump stuff. It was uh, it was weird, man. It was awkward. So 
I don't know, different type of video. I hope you guys enjoyed, though. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.